rendezvous this year has been interesting in that we have uh, had quite a benign uh, hurricane season uh, in, the, in the United States, um, and there are no impending storms uh, out, in the, uh, out in the ocean uh, right now. However, it is a good opportunity to remember uh, that it's the 10th anniversary of the uh, Izmit uh, earthquake in, in Turkey that happened uh, in August, and uh, there were several other uh, earthquakes as well, as well as winter storms Anatol, Lothar, and Martin uh, that occurred during the winter of 1999. So, uh, so to all those people who uh, use catastrophe models, uh, it's just a reminder that, the, that a big event can occur at any time. One of the exciting things that's happening in the world of reinsurance breaking is the regulatory environment, which I guess the uh, recent Solvency II directive that's been enforced um, is a prime example. What it's doing is it's putting the whole issue of risk capital and particularly the measurement of risk, um, the assessment of risk, and the capital that you need to support it um, is coming absolutely to the fore. People have talked about this for quite a long time, but the beauty of the regulatory environment is it's actually putting a framework around those discussions so that all parties are now working within the same sandbox and actually know that we have to reach some common conclusion and understanding in time for 112. Um, Ratings agencies have been very heavily slated over the last 12 months. Have we forgiven them? I think that's a very interesting question. And I believe it is important really to distinguish the activities of the rating agencies. Uh, the big failures of ratings were essentially in the area of structured finance and structured products. Actually, within the insurance and the reinsurance industry, which are separate divisions within the respective rating agencies, the situation has been very different. And I believe that the rating agencies have responded to the financial crisis in our sector, in the reinsurance and the insurance sector, differently. I think that they have been very more circumspect. I don't think that they have been panicked into downgrades and so forth. And also, I think they had well-established methodologies and capital models. The insurance and reinsurance financials uh, and business dynamics are very, very different to the activities that were taking place with other forms of complicated, structured financial products. So, have they been forgiven? You probably need to go and ask people who are involved on that side. Have we seen problems arise as a result of uh, various securities failing that were based on rating methodologies for structured products? Yes, balance sheets have been affected, some companies perhaps more severely than others. But within our own industry, I think that they have actually operated uh, responsibly. They haven't panicked. We haven't seen widespread failure in our industry. Rating agencies may have been concerned to avoid causing, I was going to say a run on the bank, um, there were some of those, uh, but a run on the security of the industry. I mean, you take someone down from A- minus in the reinsurance business, and it is very difficult. aggravate the crisis, or in some instances uh, precipitate a crisis. So I think we just need to keep that in perspective. Rating agencies have a, serv have a service to perform, and, and I think we finally get to understand exactly what they're seeking and what uh, they in turn are seeking from us. They have been a, a, strong, a strong proponent, and we in turn agree with the, uh, with the risk management process. Uh, that has been articulated very clearly. We in turn have understood this. They, in turn, understand where SCORE is coming from, what SCORE wishes to achieve going forward, and that's played to our mutual advantages. So the, the, recent, uh, the recent positive uh, positive language that we have seen both from, uh, from S&P and AM Best are very welcome. We, of course, would have preferred that to be well in advance of this, uh, of this year, but nonetheless, I think as we get to understand each other a little better, we'll be performing a little better mutually uh, in, in this respect, in this relationship.
like to say that they say that life begins at 40, so Free Insurance Magazine has lasted 40 years so far, then hopefully the next 40 years will be um, as successful as not better.